by seven. The shot is off. Gorjov with the defensive effort. And here's the fast break. Beal leading the way. Morris passes to Douglas. Offensive rebound. From past the arc. No luck. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just... Oh! Nasty. Nasty. Absolutely filthy. And the building is stunned, partner. He dug deep into his bag. I tell you there. what, I hope he keeps that one handy. I want to see that one again. Perfect inbounds play there. You couldn't have drawn it up any better. That's good. And now it's only a five-point Bulls lead. You know, no time wasted getting that ball up the floor for the uncontested finish. Mulligan throws. Make it five for ten with him in that bucket. Oh, a fantastic quarter for him here in the fourth. I mean, efficiency personified here. Feeds it to Beal. Fires from deep. Good! And now they trail by just four. And an intentional foul right there. And the Wizards making a change here. Porter's checked in. And the Bulls with possession. And they call over the back here. Too much contact. Yeah, nothing wrong with fighting for the rebound, but he gets nailed with the over the back call. And Greg, you know I was an offensive rebounder in my day. And uh, I like that kind of aggressive play. But he's got to do a little better job of trying to get position earlier in that case. Nah, that's a good point. You, you positioning is so vital when you're trying to rebound the basketball. And that's something that wasn't on his plate in that position. Beal from long range. Buries it. And oh, that was an enormous three-pointer. They don't get any bigger than that basket. They needed it, Greg, and he gave it to him. Gorchak with the steal. Beal again. Butler. Beal dishes the wall. And an incredible double clutch dunk. Wow. Big bucket. They've got to play for a stop here with the two-point lead. No open threes. Chicago calls timeout. They're trailing by two. 11 seconds left in the fourth. What do you think, guys? You know what? You can go for the three to win or the two to tie. What's your choice in a situation like this, Clark? Well, I don't think you set that decision in stone and anchor it in in this timeout. You see how things play out. You're going to try to get a good, quick shot. And if it's a good three with a good shooter, let it be. And Washington has possession. Got it up in time. Oh, no good there. The potential game winner off the mark. Time expires, and we're going to... Well, if you're just joining us, this one has been a great one. We've got overtime action now, folks. And it's Chicago to start out. So the overtime period is now ticking away. Should be fun. All fueled up and ready to go to overtime basketball here. Brought to us by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. So for Chicago right now, we got Doug McDermott. Brooks is up there with Etwan Moore. Then there's Noah. And it's Gortat finishing it off. He had his head on the swivel and was able to pick out the pass and get the assist. And the basket good. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Portis, the best to more. Passes it to Portis. Beal with the steal. Here's Porter. Oh! 
Ooh, quick hands <laughs> on the steal and then just mad hops on the slam. Great sequence for them defensively and Clark offensively. Well, one usually leads to the other, Kevin. That's just good, aggressive, attacking basketball at both ends. And it's Beal in the corner. Jacks up a three. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. And now a three-point Washington lead. Time call here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They're trailing by three. 141 left to play in OT, and this battle continuing. So Chicago ends up going with the new group. Rose kicks to Dunleavy. And the Bulls with another miss. And they've had the edge in rebounding all night long, and, and none bigger than that one right there. And guys, you've seen it countless times in a close game. A hustle plays can really make the difference. He's a big reason why they have the lead right now. He's made all of his field goal attempts thus far and remains hot from the floor. Good job threading that pass into the lane. I like his vision, guys. He sees everything. And the Wizards with possession. After Chicago picking up a basket just moments ago. Here's Wall. Rebound by Rose. Bulls trail by three. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Yeah, first turnover of the game. Overall, though, he's been rock solid. There's the dish to Beal. Back to Wall. Looking for Beal. He gets it there. And it's Wall in the corner. Rose against Beal. Buries it. He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. Rose dishes to Butler. Gasol passes to Butler. Court hot with the block. And they're able to recover. And the foul called on Markeith Morris. And that'll be his third foul so far. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Greg, those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. He hits the first one, and that shrinks the margin to just four. He's perfect from the line this time. Big time trip to the line there, bringing this down to a one possession game. A bucket here would give them a bit more room. True, but, but no need to rush it. Play smart. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Wall against Butler. Six to shoot. And Wall. Oh. And really, I like the fact that even with the big lead, they never coasted. To me, that's a sign of a really good team, Greg, because you should always be playing against the game and yourself. I know there's an opponent out there, but when you have a lead, it's all about continuing to execute. Do what you do and stay true to that. And I like that aggressiveness and full speed ahead uh, kind of attack that they have. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. And you know what? Smart foul. you got to try to extend the game. Sure, it's not over. The clock is as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. Second one is good. Getting both at the... Oh, no. Bad time to slip up there, Kevin. they got to stay focused. And, and taking a technical there is the last thing you want to do. The opposite of smart basketball. And that one falls for John Wall. From deep. And there's Bradley Beal on the assist by Morris. And so it's the Wizards with the W. They escaped with a victory, although they needed Clark.